اهلا وسهلا فيكم متابعينا بحلقه جديده من برنامج يلا اليوم ببرنامجنا حنركز على ايفنت اسمه هات ان هولي فاشن ايفنت واللي حيكون التركيز فيه حول الفاشن والازياء اللي هي تركز على الاحتشام والمحافظه في اللباس ولكن بنفس الوقت هي تحتفل بجماليه الازياء بالالوان بالقماش المنوعه والملونه خليكم معنا بهذا الايفنت الكثير حلو جاهزين يلا Thank you for joining us today, Aviad Ari Kerman. Thank you very much. It's so nice to see you. You know, I saw your designs at the Miss Universe in Israel, and I actually did pay attention that, you know, I knew that you have designed uh, the outfit for Miss Morocco. And I wanted to hear more about your perspective in terms of, you know, this new change that we're seeing and you being part of that change, being making history, actually. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I am deeply thankful for you having me at your show. So thank you for that. And you're beautiful. Thank uh, you. Ladies, <laughs> I'm really, really uh, charmed. Uh, and one day I'll wear your designs, so that's that going to happen. Uh, hopefully more than just one day. All right. But, um, I'm glad you were at Miss Universe, and that was actually a really beautiful production. The 70th edition of the Miss Universe uh, competition was very, very, very impressive. For me personally, um, I actually marked a 10-year anniversary working with Miss Universe, and throughout this past decade, I had the... Uh, honor to design evening gowns and national costumes for contestants from all over the world. That recent pageant, however, was for me a, a climax because I was responsible for five contestants. Six designs of mine were on that stage. So we are today at the Hot and Holy uh, fashion event and, you know, modest fashion is something that a lot of people coalesce around and it really could you know go to religion for example uh, people who are conservative wants to wear modest clothing you said something wonderful in the panel by the way you talked about being modest on the inside too and it means being humble and which I really agree with and but how do you translate this into fashion and could it still be flattering and exciting and you know and then be modest at the same time. Thank you for that question. First, I have to say that um, I'm really um, grateful to participate at this event. However, I don't stand for representing modest fashion, mm -hmm. nor it is my core yeah. uh, essence of my designer identity. Mm -hmm. However, in my body of work, I have done significant projects that definitely had to follow modesty guidelines like the literal uh, or as we refer to covering skin uh, modest uh, guidelines when you mentioned the abraham accords how do you see fashion and this was a part of the conversation today is bringing people together different faiths uh, cultures backgrounds you know how could that become a another way of connecting people. And let's talk about the Middle East as an example, sure. which is a very important example. So I think that uh, it would be wrong to wonder how could it become. I think it, it is there from day one. I mean, it is such a fundamental part of human culture. I mean, from the day we are born, we are wrapped with textiles and mm -hmm. the last thing we when we are, you know, yes. put into the Take ground, to the, are, yes, to so, the grave. Uh, fashion and 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 textile is a part of and is an integral part of human culture. Mm -hmm. um, now, of course, in different um, areas in the world, fashion is displayed um, perhaps in different um, ways. In the Middle East, given that there is such a diversity and mm -hmm. so rich cultures. Now we are talking really about um, uh, elaborate mm -hmm. fashion, right? Yes. Not like the ordinary everyday jeans and a tank top yes. and flip flops because it's so hot in the Middle East. <laughs> but we're actually talking about the the creative fashion. Yes. Um, it for sure 
since forever, but I think also in our generation, these times we see all these bridges that it creates, and especially with the younger generation, uh, that doesn't necessarily bother with politicians and all of that. I mean, that is there, and I'm humbly here, you know, I don't represent any political yes. side, but as, as humans living here and working and celebrating life and loving fashion and loving arts, this is really a, an amazing default mm -hmm. um, medium for us to connect, to communicate through. Thank you so much for joining us, Norsham Mohamed Garcia. You are the founder and director of the Miami Modest Week Fashion Show, which is the first modest fashion runway show in the United States. Yeah. So tell us about it and where did this idea come from? Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I learned it from, like I was mentioned during the interview, and I went to New York with my amazing outfit that um, one of the major fashion house, but I was watching modest fashion. I didn't even know the word modest, actually. I never heard the word modest. Actually, I heard the word modest, but then apply with the fashion, I'm saying, what the heck? Sorry, what is that all about? But the thing was impressed me because during that time, I was invited by um, the leader um, of a uh, woman entrepreneur from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. They brought over, I believe during that time, 10 designers. Each of them have this amazing outfit. And some of them wearing their hijab, some of them wearing one of the kind. I'm over here that, wow. I asked them, where do you get the outfit? They make it for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and this kind of thing, I'm like, my goodness. And that's the kind of thing that I'm start learning about what's modest fashion. And I realized it's a billion dollars industry at first. You have to remember, I came from corporate America. You know, it's about like making names at first. Until when I understand, even myself, I do not understand how important, how, you know, this modest fashion, like I said earlier, is have different layer. It's not just the clothing, what we're wearing, the culture, the confidence, the whole things. That's what I'm saying, that's modest fashion. That's, you know, and I think that's intriguing. Mm -hmm. So basically then I said, but two years, I was learning about this. Um, I was still in the sport entertainment and I invited my old partner and said, let's do this modest fashion. Do this in Miami, this is gonna be fun. And he said, you represent big name. This is our image. That's the first thing he said. Mm -hmm. And I worked, I'm sorry, worked for, you know, you know, I'm talking sport entertainment most of the time is actually men business, right? Yes. Uh, he said, no, this is our image. And I said, you know what? I want to go for it. And I did my own. I don't have any background fashion. Somehow my husband, my father-in-law, they be in fashion. Mm -hmm. um, but what I have, what I'm saying is, if do, even though I don't have background, but I have the DNA. Um, do you, and this is how I conclude with this, do you see this uh, becoming more of a trend that we will... Let me correct you. Yes. It's not a trend. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle. So that was a part of yes. the conversation. <laughs> like, is it a trend or a lifestyle? It's a wanted, lifestyle. But we want it to still be trendy. Right. So people are You're right, you're right. It's like, a trendy is more like, um, the aesthetic part is it because the trend probably next year if you see trend it's gone yes modest fashion that's why I try to correct everyone because even my from Muslim community they say oh modest fashion belong to Muslim I said no you know if you really go into religious part I'm not the le religious leader as Muslim they have to believe in Judaism Christianity and the whole thing you know and I think that um, another part that what I want to say that this is not it's a beautiful, you know, a beautiful concept of the lifestyle, you know, true fashion and true fashion. And, and I think that is very unique. The only thing I give credit to a lot of Muslim bloggers, because I was impressed mm -hmm. how they style the, 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 the outfit that I never thought about it at first. Yeah. You know, how you, before this, why you wear sneakers with long dress? Doesn't make sense, doesn't look, but when they put it, all this is very hip. 
And this, to be honest with you, modest fashion, I think is very powerful. And I think that's not only just, I advise for people, just don't do it because you want to be out there or to just making money. Bring this to sustain the culture, uh, bring people together, that kind of thing, the message we want to do. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, and I'm going to end it on this note. No, thank you so much, Norsham. I'm you so know, happy that I have met you today. Generously. In thank person, you so after much. seeing your designs. Sweet. Very nice to meet you. Amazing. Yalla! Yalla! Yalla. Yalla. Yalla.